Okay. Yeah, Claude, the last realtor we had, you know, we only stuck the sign in the yard and then he went to vacation yeah. in Hawaii. That's horrible. I can imagine you're a good guy. You're trying to help someone in the service and everything, and and you got a guy who won't even return phone calls. That's horrible. I, I really hate hearing stories like that. You know, there's, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who treat this as a hobby. I treat the real I treat real estate as a profession. That's how I feed my family. And when I work for somebody, and I'd like to work with you, uh, I've made a decision. I'd like to help you. You sound like a good guy, and you're helping. I, I'd like to help you. And um, when I work with somebody, they're part of my extended family. So you get my cell phone. You can call me, text me anytime you like. I use, boom, social media, like you were just starting to say, which was very good. The social media thing, off the role play, the social media thing you were saying. Do you see how I stroke and nurture all the time? Yeah. Why do I do that? To create an emotional... Bingo. Yes. You constantly go back. You reiterate the bullet points. You make up bullet points. You create, you find, create, or exacerbate the pain or the Im imminent expectation of joy. Mm -hmm. This is gut selling. This is, gr this is how you stay in control, how people like you, how they trust you, how some of them fall in love with you. They go back. Don't, what do you want me to say to my wife when I get off the phone with you? Oh, then I'm going to sell the house. I'm the best realtor ever, and we're going to do it. Yeah. Don't you want me to say to my wife, um, this guy is great. I love this kid. I love his energy. He's young. He's energetic. He didn't sound like any of those other realtors who were calling me. I think we got a good, I think he'll, he'll take care of us. He wants to help uh, uh, John, John in the Navy or, or whatever. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, that, what does he need to hear that makes him emotional, that makes him like you so much that he says yes, either immediately or for the next phone call you set up? Now, you got them, set me up for the next follow-up so you can make me sign a contract. Okay. Hey, Claude, well, I mean, it sounds like... Well, really you sound like, like a good guy, man. I, I like everything you say. You sound a little bit different for some of these guys who call me up. They're real clowns. You know what I mean? Thank you, Claude. I really appreciate that. I mean, where do you think we could move, where we could go from here? I don't know. Uh, I mean, what's, you know, why don't you send me some information and uh, I'll think about it. I mean, obviously, you know, um, your brother is not present right now in the house, right? He's off no, in the military. No, as I said, as I said earlier, he's in Afghanistan. Okay. I mean, well, how about we send him the listing uh, agreement today? And, and I have power of attorney. That? I think I said that too, didn't I? <laughs> oh my God, I'm not listening. Um, okay. And I'm not trying to jump all over you and be overcritical. Yeah, yeah, and no, they, no, and all the, the hypocritic, uh, hypocrite <laughs> angels are, are just going all over me because <laughs> I'm not the best listener either but I, I said some of these things before and you got to pick up on them yeah because what does it say to me when you reiterate the the things that I told you no I mean it means I'm not paying attention yeah you gotta it and this is that's why I'm, I'm just I'm not trying to be a bully here okay no, 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 no. it's fine I, I just wanted this is this might be a little bit of a weakness you have and you can develop mm. this skill I have I'm much better than I was at one time. No comments downstairs. Um, I'm much better than I was. And when I make when I'm in the business to make money, I'm a very good listener. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. Set up. We got thirty seconds. Let's clock up. Okay. Uh, Vic, I like you and everything. Um, I have power of attorney. Um, uh, what do we need to do next if we want to? If I decide to move forward. Okay, I really appreciate that, Claude. I mean, I could send you a listing agreement today. Could you get back to me by uh, noon? Um, yeah, sure, sure. Let me talk to my wife, and um, I'll get back to you around noon. My, my wife said you should sign it by noon. You know what? <laughs> your your wife is a smart woman. I appreciate that, Claude. Okay, set up a um, off the role play. Always set up a video call, FaceTime. If you have a you have an Android, uh, set up a Skype or a Zoom. You don't have a you don't have an iPhone, right? Yeah, I got an iPhone. Okay, I'm set up a – I have an iPhone too. Set up a FaceTime call. That's the <laughs> the biggest strength of the iPhone is that you have FaceTime. Set up a FaceTime call so you can meet my – I'd love to meet your lovely wife or girlfriend. And so do you. So she, she understands what I'm going to be trying to do for you and everything else. And maybe you could do me a favor and recommend me to your brother-in-law how I helped you sell this home. And then I can help him also buy a home. Okay. Would that be okay? Yeah, and let's have and let's set up a meeting for twelve thirty on Facetime, and I'd love to meet your lovely wife. 
Okay. Boom. Quick, real quick, what's the takeaway? Um, what did you learn listen today? Better. <laughs> listen better and uh, use more stroking and nurturing. Exactly. Exactly. 